Welcome back to the Concordian Radio Show on CJO 1690. That was Focus by her. So now we're going to... I hope you're focusing on this uh, on this radio show. We have Maggie Hope, our... Um, li- uh, sorry, life, not <laughs> arts editor. Arts editor who, who wrote a news piece this week. So, Trash Bar. Yeah. It's, uh, it's getting a lot of heat from, obviously, Concordia students, from a lot of people around Montreal. So, why is that? Oh, man, yeah. This I had to venture out of the art section for. I was like, <laughs> I got to talk about this. Um, yeah, so it came out by the the Montreal Journal wrote an article on the 15th, I believe, um, about Trash throwing a fundraiser for one of their ex-bouncers and actually convicted um, sexual abuser. Um, and, yeah, the, the media and um, Trash's... Um, employees and you know customers kind of took notice and weren't yeah weren't really um that happy with it you know so yeah I mean it's it's kind of a screwed up situation (laughs) understandably um and yeah I I thought it was important to talk about but I also wanted to talk about the you know what it means for students seeing as most of trash bars um you know customers are students and it's a hot spot on the weekends and you know like yeah, so I decided to kind of come at the, it from that angle, yeah. So the former bouncer, Steve Bouchard, he, he was convicted with uh, sexual assault. So right now he's in prison? Yeah. And yeah. is he coming out anytime soon? Is that why they were having the fundraiser? I believe so. I'm not completely sure, but I know that he was convicted almost exactly a year ago, and he had like 18 months to go. So yeah, he should be getting out soon. I, I assume that's why they held the fundraiser, but I'm not sure, yeah. So obviously, trash responded to all these, all the heat that they got. What what do they even have to say about such a <laughs> strange? So let's just put a strange situation. Yeah, yeah. Well, they actually didn't respond to any of my phone calls, but um, they did put out a statement um on Facebook the day that the that the journal published the article, um, kind of saying a general, you know, this was an error of judgment. Um, they didn't take into consideration the victims. Um, experience or point of view kind of a general like not too specific or um it didn't really even sound like much of an apology in my opinion (laughs) but um yeah that's all they've said about it is that it was a mistake and i think they also said that they're planning on donating the um the funds to an organization or some kind of um yeah, nonprofit or something, but I'm not sure. I mean, did they actually raise funds for this? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was it actually happened, yeah. Yeah. And so obviously the his victim, obviously she wasn't mm-hmm. too happy. Uh she came out and had some things to say in the public. What what did she have to say about the situation? Yeah, yeah. The Montreal Journal was actually focused on um her experience. She was the one who contacted them. Um and she was just completely outraged with the whole, you know, fundraiser, the whole event itself. Um she fully disclosed what um you know, what her experience with Bouchard was. They were in a relationship a couple of years ago, so she was um yeah she was just completely taken aback and really insulted i mean understandably (laughs) yeah and um so moving away from that Mm -hmm. moving back into (laughs) arts back uh, into my comfort zone (laughs) yeah 